And now, Mike's thoughts. The NFL is officially getting sued. The NFL is being sued by people that say they need some money, but I, I, I don't really know. Long story short, back in 2015, a bar went out and sued the NFL for overpriced NFL Sunday ticket. Basically, what they were saying is that the NFL is charging extremely more than the rest of the people for their said package, right? So, right now, the NFL said ticket is about $350 right here on YouTube TV. Backwards on Direct TV is about, I think it was like $199, $200, or $250, so, so, somewhere right around there. Long story short, the lawsuit was thrown out in 2017. The judge says, This is dumb. You're wasting my time. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Fast forward five, six, seven, eight, nine years. Fast forward to that time. There has now been a class action lawsuit filed against the NFL. This class action lawsuit basically says this sets the same thing. They said subscribers claim the NFL broke the antitrust laws by saying by selling the NFL Sunday ticket at an inflated price and restricted competition by offering it only through satellite provider. Basically, since the NFL only provided it through DirecTV, only providing it through YouTube TTV, that that is breaking all types of laws. To carry on, they said the reason why the this, this was the case, the reason why it only had to be a DirecTV, only YouTube TV, is so the NFL could get Dollar dollar bills, y'all, from CBS and Fox Sports. Billions upon billions of dollars. Long story short, if this lawsuit does go through, it can be damaged up to about $7 billion to $21 billion, which the payout would likely take years, right? With the old uh, uh, appeals and due processes and, and like all that other stuff. So let me ask you guys this question. Is the NFL Sunday ticket overpriced? Do you think they're overpricing it so people don't want to buy it so they can strictly stick to Fox and CBS? I'm going to say no. I do not think it's overpriced because I I, I buy the MLB.TV package. Like, it's like $300. I get every Major League Baseball game, right? Now, however, what I don't like about the NFL sign to take is, is now you got to have Peacock, you got to have Netflix, you got to have Paramount, you got to have this, you got to have Amazon Prime, right? Is it overpriced? No. Is a lawsuit silly? Yes. Why are we even talking about this? Why are we even talking about this at the end of the day? Whatever. Cue that intro. Are you ready for the best damn NFL show on the planet? Man, our nation, rise up. Yeah, yeah, hey, let's go. Hitting that gridiron, we going hard, we running the plays. You know the vibe, only the strong survive. Gotta keep your head in the game. Talking NFL, uncut, straight raw. Steady bringing that sauce. We about to take off, get it hyped. This man, our sport talk. Yeah, yeah, from the quarterback to the lineman. Everybody bringing heat. You don't really want to try them. Hey, hey, who gonna win? It's a battle of the Giants. This show is the Nobody can deny it. This is Man Hour. Man hour. Sport, talk. Sport Talk. Man Hour. Man hour. Sport, talk. Sport Talk. What team you reppin'? Rappin'. We keep it interesting. Who caught another down? Damn. Who got that interception? This is Man Hour. Man Hour. Sport Talk. Sport uh. talk. Man Hour. Man hour. Sport Talk. Uh. What team you reppin'? Rappin'. We keep it interesting. Rappin'. Who caught another down? Hey. Who got that interception? Let's go. And what is up, Man Hour Nation? Michael Bacacho here with the Man Hour. Be sure to manhourradio.com. Check out the merchandise page. Where check out the blog section as well because merch is awesome. Check out the new merch that we got out there. We got some hats. We got some t-shirts. We got the hoodies. We got the sweatpants. We got whatever you want if you are uh, like to rep some Man Hour gear. But with that being said, we got to welcome some people into the chat here. We got to welcome my man, Jim Powell in the chat. What's up, Jimmy? He says it is dumb. What is dumb? Are the Raiders dumb or is the NFL Sunday ticket being overpriced dumb? What is dumb? 
Let me know, Jim. Good morning or good afternoon to you, Jim. I'm stuck on the morning time. Welcome to the afternoon, 2.30 East Coast time here every Monday through Friday. We also got my man, John Peoples, is in the chat. He says the Raiders are going 13 and 4. 13 and 4, John. Okay. My man, John, is a pigskin punnet, but if you guys would like to become a pigskin punnet, get a little preview or a pre-show and some free merch and stuff like that, click on the subscribe button below, become a pigskin punnet, and be just like Johnny. You can say shit like this. 13 to 4. Doug Barber, eyes in the chat. What's up, Doug? He says, Raiders. The Raiders. We are talking about the Raiders, you guys. We will be breaking down the 2024 NFL schedule for the Las Vegas Raiders, and we'll be talking about that all show long. And John says, hell yeah, they overpriced. Hell yeah, the NFL said they could take a double price. I agree, I agree. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I enjoy it because I get to watch the Chiefs. I get to watch the Dolphins. I get to watch the Raiders. Any, I, I, got, I get to watch any game that I want that's not on, like, Amazon Prime and Netflix and Paramount and <laughs> but yeah, it is it is a little overpriced. My man David Nazar's in the chat. What's up, David? Good says good afternoon, Buck. It's been a long time. Yes, sir, it has, David. It's been a while since we've seen you. Um, I believe the last time we saw you, you got your ass whooped by the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, David is a Chargers fan, guys, so bear with him. Get cut him a little slack. But hey, this year the Chargers might be up and up. They got a new coach. They got a new coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what up, what up, what up, Raiders fan, says John. Good job. John loves him some Raiders. And, of course, Jim Powell, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> all right, guys, so it is Wednesday here. Happy Juneteenth for all you people out there celebrating Juneteenth today. It is June 19th, 2024, 2.30 here on the East Coast time, and this is Man Hour NFL Talk. We are live every Monday through Friday at 2.30 East Coast time right here on Facebook.com and, of course, YouTube.com. And if you uh, like it in the podcast form, it is out there on podcasts, of course, Spotify, iTunes, and, of course, iHeartRadio as well. But with that being said, guys, let's talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. Let's talk about how the Raiders should be pretty good this season, right? I've seen people in there say 13 and 4. More realistic fans are saying about 10 and 7, 11 and 6. But I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm gonna tell you really how I think the Las Vegas Raiders are going to do in the 2024 NFL season. But before we move on, we have to look back. Let's look back at what the Raiders did this offseason. They did draft Brock Bowers, 13th overall, the tight end from Georgia. Should add some nice, prolific pa passing up the middle there because, you know, that is a tight end. It's starting to be a very powerful position in the NFL uh, with the emergence of uh, uh, Travis Kelsey and the rest of the boys out there. But they did draft, draft Brock Bowers uh, 13th overall. And then early in the second round and third round, they went offensive lineman. They drafted a center, Jack Powers Johnson from Oregon, and Glazer, the offensive tackle from Maryland as well. And then four, five, six, and seven rounds, they kind of added depth to places where they didn't really need to add depth, but it is what it is. Also, this offseason, they did pick up Garner Mitchu. They picked up Garner Mitchu and Michael Gallup as well to add some more to that offensive side of the things. So before we start breaking down all 17 games, start talking about them, let's, let's see what John has to say. John says, you may as well wear a dress and be a KC fan. <laughs> I don't know who he's talking to, but I, I, I don't know. Jim, Jim says, first game you get the Chargers smacked in the cocksucker. <laughs> And John Sheridan's in the chat. Uh, San, San, Sandran. Uh, John, let me know if I'm saying, saying your name right. I, I, I tried to pronounce names as best I can, but pronouncing yes is not my strong strong point. But John thinks the Raiders are going to be 7 and 10. Well, I can tell you guys that... I can tell you that the Raiders are not going to be very good in 2024. The Raiders are going to be probably one of the worst teams out there, hands down. The Raiders are a team that I'm just like, nah, nah, right, right. And I got to agree with James right here off the bat. Raiders are fighting for a top three pick in the next year's draft. And let's see how they do. Let's see how they do. Because right, right off the bat, week number one, they do open up versus 
the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers, like I just said, when I welcomed David into the chat here, they got a new hof, uh, new offensive coordinator, right? They got a new head coach. They let go of some of the injury-prone teams or the injury-prone items that they have had to endure over the last couple of years. They are younger. They are more feisty, maybe. But week number one, I got to give it to the Chargers, guys. I like what the Chargers have done this offseason, as I do not think that they will be a playoff team. I do not think they'll make a Super Bowl run. I don't think they'll even make a chance at the ASC West title. But I do think week one that the Chargers do beat the Raiders. I think Adrian O'Connell comes out there and kind of just shits the bed, right? Adrian O'Connell's biggest thing to fame is beat the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas Day. What has what has he done for you since? Adrian O'Connell is not the answer. And quickly, quickly, Raiders are going to find this come week number one. Chargers get get to get at the dub week number one. Then we look at week number two. This is an intriguing matchup to me because Ravens are coming off a opening week game versus the Kansas City Chiefs on Thursday. They they have a mini bye week. The Raiders are traveling to Baltimore week two matchup. And I think the Ravens will be coming off a loss. But I truly think that the Raiders can potentially hang with the Ravens in this particular game. I do think they have an opportunity to not suck. Right? I think they have an opportunity to basically kind of be like, hey, hey, they lose this game, but they battle. It is going to be a run-dominant game back and forth. It is going to be a lot of Derrick Henry. It is going to be a lot of of the three-headed monster of the Las Vegas Raiders backfield. But I do think the Ravens come out on top of this one. Let's come out on top of this one. We got winner dynamite one two one one in the chat. It says Raiders equal. Uh, <laughs> not wrong. Raiders are not going to be very good. Start off the season zero and two right off the bat. And Jim says I won't remind you about every. Uh, I won't re, 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 I I won't remind you about this every week. Listen, it's out there for the world, baby. Out there for the world. And John says it's not the playoffs, Chiefs. Start all, start 0-2. Week number three. Panthers finally get a home game versus the Carolina Panthers. Bryce Young, Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell is now 0-2 as a starter to start the season. Out. The Panthers are just terrible. First home game of the season. The first home game for uh, uh, Antonio Pierce as a head coach. As not an intern, but the real head coach. And I think the Raiders come out, and I think they dominate the Panthers come week three. The Panthers are another team battling for a top overall pick again. For whatever reason, the Panthers are just terrible. I don't know if it's the franchise. I don't know if it's the quarterback. I don't know if it's the defense. They are just terrible. The Panthers might go 0-17 this season, and they do not get a win versus the Raiders. I think the Raiders win Get their first win week three over the Panthers. Get us a one and two record going into week four versus the Cleveland Browns. The mighty, mighty, mighty Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns coming off a of fresh of a playoff berth. They did lose to the Texans in the playoffs off their fifth stream quarterback. Deshaun Watson is scheduled to be back. That defense should be better than ever. Nick Chubb's back. But I think the Raiders get him. I think the Raiders get the get the Browns come week two. Aiden O'Connell, two-game winning streak. The Raiders looking good, looking pretty nice right here. Back-to-back home games, back-to-back wins. Give me a two-and-two two going into week five versus the division opponent taking on the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos. What's up, XT Gamer? Hope you're having a grand old day, man. The Denver Broncos are a team that were just like, what? <laughs> what? What? 
The Broncos might be the worst team in the NFL. I don't care if they got Bill Belichick and Tom Brady to come over to Broncos. Their team sucks. Patrick, Patrick Sertan is the only good part of that whole team. No receiver, no running back, no quarterback, nothing. The Broncos are just, they're terrible. And I think the Raiders get that win. They get that dub. Raiders fans getting hype three in a row. We're three and two, baby, going into week six. And we're dominating. We're dominating on defense. We're dominating on offense. We've learned how to kick the ball and not through the end zone and run, and run some special teams plays. Raiders are looking good. Three and two going into week six. But this is when the wheels fall off the wagon. This is when the wheels fall off the wagon for the Las Vegas Raiders. Why? Because the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers and the Raiders play. And this is a home game for the Raiders. And they get whacked. Not only do they get whacked, they get popped in the mouth. Mark Davis loses his 25-year-old pregnant girlfriend. And Aiden O'Connell is like, I don't know what to do with my hands anymore. This, this game is so dominant that Garner Minshew might shave, shave his mustache, break some type of curse. Aiden O'Connell might shave his mustache, break some type of curse. This is a beatdown. Do you guys remember when the Broncos lost like 70 to 28 to the Miami Dolphins last season? This could happen. Week six, three and three, going into week seven. Travel to L.A. to take on the Rams. Traveling to L.A. to take on the Rams. This is a Rams team that many people slept on last season. I had them as a playoff team. This year, think they're going to take a couple sets back. The Matthew Stafford contract thing is going to kind of get underneath their skin toward the end of the day. Matthew Stafford's not, not, not going to be very happy. And unfortunately, he takes that rage out on the Raiders. The Raiders lose two in a row. Back-to-back -back losses to the Steelers and Rams after winning three in a row. Not looking good. Aiden O'Connell, another bad game. Still started quarterback. Still a really, really bad game. Takes us to week eight. Last year, the Super Bowl. Raiders versus Chiefs, right? Christmas Day, Super Bowl. Well, guess what? Chiefs got that in the back of their head. Yes, it is a home game for the Raiders. Yes, the Kansas City Chiefs have never lost in Allegiant Stadium. And yes, the same thing happens again. Patrick Mahomes, Ajay Pacheco, uh, Rasheed Rice will come back on this game after his seven-game suspension, six-game suspension. He'll be back. He'll be looking good. Be looking mighty, mighty fine, y'all. And the Raiders get beat down again. Back to back to back beat downs beat down sports edits is what is in the chat good morning sports edits john says you sipped in something to blur your voice or to blur your, to blur your vision already no just drinking some water h2o baby well it's blurry right now the raiders vision Three losses in a row to the Steelers, Rams, and Chiefs. Three losses in a row after winning three in a row. They're now uh, five and three on the season going into week nine. Playing the Cincinnati Bengals come week nine. Joe Burrow is not looking very good at, at this particular point. Many people are in the back of the head saying, we want Jake Browning. We want Jake Browning. They're questioning the Mixon trade right now. They're questioning the Tyler Boyd trade right now. But guess what? When the Raiders travel to Cincinnati week nine, this is yet another beatdown. This is yet another 20-plus point loss for the fourth time in a row this season. The Bengals put it all together come week nine and beat down the Raiders for their fourth straight beatdown of the season going into their bye week. 
going to bye week, which is week 10 this season. At this point, we are hearing the conversations. Put in Garner Mitchell. Put in Garner Mitchell. No, we need to stick with Aiden O'Connell. Put in Garner Mitchell. There's a quarterback controversy in week 10 during this bye week for the Las Vegas Raiders. Hell, there's even a coaching controversy at this point. Yes, they did have three wins in a row earlier this season versus the Panthers, Browns, and Broncos. But four back-to-back-to-back-to-back beatdowns makes Mark Davis question, man, is Antonio Pierce our guy? Is he really our guy? Is AP really our guy? I think AP, I think a, AP survives week 10. I think he does survive the rest of the season, but AOC does not. AOC does not insert Gardner Minshew week 11 versus the Miami Dolphins. But guess what? Much, it doesn't get any better for the Las Vegas Raiders. Travel to Miami after a bye week. Gardner Minshew, they're playing better. They're playing better. It's only a 17 to 14 game. Still a loss, though. Still a loss. Giving us five losses in a row now. Week 12. Can we turn turn it around? Can we turn it around? Insert Bo Nix for the uh, Denver Broncos at this particular point. The Broncos are just a sinking ship. The Broncos are just a very, very bad team right now. So they got their rookie quarterback in there. Garner Minshew, second game under the belt. First home game. Fans are going wild. They love Minshew Mania's back with the with the with like with the uh, uh ch- chops, right? With the chops and and the shorty shorts and looking like a man, the myth, the legend, but it doesn't matter. Cause Bo Nix is the man, the myth, the legend in Denver. It's another close game. Might be the six, six to three score. No touchdowns will be scored in this game. But Raiders lose again. Raiders lose again. Going into week thir- 13. Travel to Arrowhead. Remember, last time the Raiders did travel to Arrowhead, they beat the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas Day. The Kansas City Chiefs were a very, very bad team at that particular point. Yes, they did turn around. They win the soup, won the Super Bowl. But they were a bad team at this particular point. If you guys remember, I I don't know, was it seven, eight years ago? Las Vegas Raiders went into Arrowhead. They beat the Kansas City Chiefs, and they did a victory lap around the stadium. I think that I think that was John Gruden's first year. Did the victory lap, and uh, they pretty much haven't won since last year. They won, whatever kind of a fluke, whatever. It doesn't happen again. The Chiefs are pissed off. The fans are pissed off. The Kansas City Chiefs might break the loudest stadium record again this particular day versus the Raiders. It is a slacking. 40 to 3. Kansas City Chiefs put up 35 points in the first half. It is ugly, ugly, ugly. John says they'd suck. Yes, the Raiders do suck. They do suck. They do suck. But week 14. They travel to Tampa. Travel to Tampa. Maybe, just maybe, they can get things right. I think Garner Minshew is benched at this point after three straight losses. They played well, but they're not seeing the seeing the uh, production that they want, right? Insert back AOC. It doesn't help. I think the Bucks are a really, really good team this season. They were a really good team last last season. They lose again. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight losses in a row for the Las Vegas Raiders. Mark Davis at this point is questioning, man, I should have fired AP five weeks ago. He didn't. Should have, but he didn't. Take us to week 15. Kirk Cousins. Comes into town, comes into Vegas to take on AOC. At this point, guys, the Raiders are a bad team. They are trying to lose games at this particular point. They want that first overall pick. They want 
Shador Sanders. They want, uh, they're looking for a quarterback first overall pick. And the Falcons help them. Falcons beat them. Falcons go to Vegas, beat down the Raiders, and they're just a bad, bad team. Raiders are a bad team. Week 16, back at home. $245 million contract man himself, Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars coming to town. AOC gets benched again. Gar- insert Garner Minshew come weeks, weeks, week 16. I don't know why they're doing this at this point. Maybe they'll see what they got in Garner Minshew a little bit. But I think Garner Minshew will play this game versus his former team, right? And they get the win. Finally, the nine-game losing streak for the Las Vegas Raiders has been snapped. When the Jacksonville Jaguars come into town, Garner Minshew beats them down, 28-7. to Trevor Lawrence, we're talking about how overrated and how big of a bust he is after this game. $245 million, $145 million guaranteed money, wasted. Because you'll lose to the Raiders. Week 17, travel to New Orleans in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. I might try to make this game. I, I love me some N.O. Saints versus Raiders at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This game I was going back and forth on. Going back and forth on, going back and forth on, going back and forth on. I don't know. Derek Carr versus his former team. Is Derek Carr even playing at this point? Are the Saints a good team at this point? We don't really know. One thing I do know is that the Saints get this win. The Saints get this win, and the Raiders are still buying for that number one overall pick in the 2025 NFL Draft. 2025 NFL Draft, Raiders get an overall pick. Come week 18. They have not beaten the Chargers yet this season. Swept by the Chiefs. Split with the Broncos. And guess what? They get swept by the Chargers as well. The Raiders are just a bad team. They don't have a quarterback. They don't have a decent running game. Their only part of their defense is overpaid in Christy Wilkins. Christian Wilkins. Max Crosby will be pretty much, he'll do his thing, right? He'll get those dollar dollar bills, yell. But I think the Raiders go 4-13 and 13 this season. I think the Raiders are a really, really bad team, guys. Earlier, first six weeks of the season, we're Lakin, hey, win over Carolina, win over the Cleveland Browns, really good win. Win over the Broncos, of course, right? But to be honest, the Raiders really do not have a favorable schedule. Look at this stretch right, right, right here after week six. Steelers, Rams, Chiefs, Bengals, Dolphins, Broncos, Chiefs, Bucks. That is a tough stretch for any team. You have the Steelers at home, on the road versus the Rams, Chiefs at home, at Cincinnati, at Miami, Broncos at home, at Chiefs, at, at Bucks. That is a tough, tough stretch. If, by some stretch of the imagination, guys, they can win a game in this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine game stretch between the Steelers and the Falcons. If they can win two games in that stretch, I think they can beat the Falcons, Jags, Saints, and Chargers to end the season. If they win two games in that stretch of games there between the Steelers and the Falcons, or sorry, for the Steelers and the Bucks, they win two of those uh, eight games there. I think at that point, you are looking at a six, seven, eight, nine win team. If if they can beat the Broncos and let's say the Rams in that stretch, right? And they play decent versus the Chiefs and the Bengals and the Dolphins and the and the Bucks. They could potentially be an eight, nine win team. Potentially. 
but I, I just I do not see it, unfortunately, for the Raiders this season. I think the Raiders are a bad, bad team, and it's going to reflect on them all season long. Let me know what you guys think. Questions, comments, concerns. Let's, let's talk about it. What do you guys think about the Raiders? Are they going to be a bad team? Are they going to be a 14-win a team like uh, John said up, up, up here? Or, sorry, 13-win team like John said. Other John said 7 and 10. Jim says, you forgot Taylor. Taylor Tay wants kids, so Kelsey will be pregnant this season. John thinks Travis Kelsey's going to get pregnant this season. <laughs> get out of here with that crap. Get out of here. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for today. I think I'm going to go buy a, a new truck. We've been looking. We've been going back and forth. Treat, treat myself a little bit, right? See you guys tomorrow. Same time, same location. Tomorrow we are breaking down the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions will be here on Man Hour. Same time, same location. We out.